Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at Hideman VPN. Now there are a number of reasons, or a couple of reasons, why you'd want to use an app like this. The first is being if you're on a on a uh, open Wi-Fi uh, somewhere at Starbucks or wherever, uh, you're it's not a very secure connection. So anything that you do on there can be intercepted by somebody. I know chances may be slim, but it still could happen. Your passwords or any kind of data. Uh, so connecting to a VPN uh, such as this makes things secure. In this particular case, it would be AES-256 encryption, which is very secure. The other reason why you might want to use something like this, and maybe you want to use actually for both reasons, is that you, um, you want to get access to something outside of your own country. Like, so for example, if you're in the U.S. and you want access to the BBC, uh, you would need to have a UK IP address. How would you do that if you don't fly there? So you could do it from your own couch uh, if you use something like this and you'll get a UK IP. The same works if you're outside the US and you want to, you know, access to Google Music or Hulu. You could do the same thing. Now you can see here there's a time going down and you're given, uh, I think it's six blocks of time. Right now I have one left after this and each block is variable. Uh, it starts out around uh, 60 minutes I think for the first one and then it's like say 55 minutes, 50 or whatever. But the total is five hours um, that you get for the week and the block moves down uh, ticks down regardless if you're connected or not. So that's kind of the catch. So, um, you know, because five hours is a lot of time, but this way they, uh, you know, make it so it's not, you know, a full five hours as you, as you need it. But still, it's a considerable amount of time depending on how often you really need something like this. So, um, y there's also a number of choices for countries, uh, as you can see here. Let me zoom out. And uh, there are 17 countries that you can choose from. Obviously, United Kingdom's in there, U.S., Canada, Poland, Russia. There's a lot, which uh, makes this a little bit better than some of the other apps out there. I know I reviewed Tunnel Bear, which is very similar. Uh, so maybe you need access uh, to something else in another obscure country. Um, well, not necessarily obscure, but different than just normal places like the U.K. and the U.S. You have that access. But in this uh, particular case, I'm going to go with the United Kingdom for my test purposes. Now, I'm actually uh, connected to a uh, mobile hotspot that's not even LTE, so it's a little slow. I didn't want to have to worry about hiding my own IP address. So, um, uh, let's go in and just connect. And this may take a couple uh, extra seconds because of it. And I think I already went over again. You get, you just tap this uh, when you need more time. There's six of those blocks, and then it will start the, the uh, timer. And uh, like I said, it's, there we go. It's going in. It's connecting, and I will have a new IP address for the United Kingdom. Uh, there also just to point out, as far as the country choices, you could also set it to. Um, uh, well, okay, just asking me to drop it. Uh, I didn't. I can't go into it now. But you could actually set it to just automatically select where, because in, if you're just looking for a secure VPN, you don't really care where you're really connected into. You just want a secure VPN. So right now, this is if as if I'm in the UK and I have a secure VPN. I got the best of both worlds. Uh, so you can do whatever you want. You can go into any apps that you'd like. Uh, so you banking or whatever and everything is secure, but now I'm just going to go into uh, Chrome here and go into the BBC uh, site for the iPlayer just to show you um, what it's like. Now normally when you click on a video it tells you that uh, they don't support people outside the UK, but in this particular case I'm going to tap it now and uh, it's telling me that I can play it. Now, you go ahead and try that at home if you're in the U.S. You will not get that unless you have a U.K. IP address. So, so basically that works perfectly. Um, and it can't be any simpler than that. You just basically click to connect and you're done. So, now um, let's just go back and I'll show you. As far as, um, let me just disconnect now. And I'll just quickly show you that country setting uh, automatically. So now when I connect, it'll just it'll probably choose Canada uh, since I'm in the U.S. and that's all set. Now, um, if you want to purchase more time, there are a couple of options. You have Google Play, 
uh, PayPal, S and even SMS. Each one offers um, a couple of different options, uh, like for example, it's a you know, usual dollar for 10 hours, but like for example, for whatever reason, the Play Store doesn't offer you the yearly rate. Let me zoom in a little bit there. Uh, it doesn't offer you the, the yearly rate, so uh, SMS, uh, you know, is similar to, I think that was PayPal, the other one offers you a lot. So you, right now, yearly twenty four ninety for one year, and um, that's not bad. That's a little over $2 a month uh, if you need access regularly to an outside country for whatever reason. That, that's not too bad. And a dollar for 10 hours um, that you can use as you wish, that's pretty good also. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if they block that in time or you can actually use that 10 hours as you wish. So that that would be interesting to see what they do. I, I, I didn't actually try that. Uh, if somebody does do that, put some. Uh, maybe you can comment on that. So that's it in a nutshell. It's pretty simple. Oh, the other thing that's also nice that I like is they offer a widget right here. And you can just quickly go in. So wherever you are, uh, you want to get a secure connection. Say you're at the gym or wherever um, and there's uh, free Wi-Fi there. You just quickly, you know, once you get on your treadmill or whatever, you can go in and hit the widget and quickly uh, connect. So uh, it works very well. And it does, uh, like I said, it serves two purposes. I really like the, uh, I don't have too much use for access to the outside uh, other countries. But for the secure VPN part of it uh, in a public Wi-Fi, fantastic. It does slow down your connection a little bit more than I would like, but uh, the choices of the extra countries that you normally would get and um, the widget is a nice plus over, say, TunnelBear. Uh, but, you know, uh, both work well. This one also, I haven't noticed any data caps. It just seems to be based on time, which is, uh, also separates it. So. Um, it's pretty cool. It's definitely, um, you know, it definitely works well and it's free for you to try, which is the best thing. And, uh, you know, I think for a lot of people, the five hours a week will be more than enough. And if not, um, you can at least see if you like it and then go from there. So that's it. Just hit the Play Store and check it out. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.